Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm taking a drive over to Coral Gables here in South Florida. I am picking up an antique side table that I'm going to refinish. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $40 and I found this neighborhood to be so cute. I thought I'll share it with you before we got started. This antique side table is in pretty good condition. The seller told me it had been her grandmother's, so definitely been around for some time. It's made of quarter sawn tiger oak, and I knew I had to have it as soon as I saw it. I love the shape of the top, and those turned legs are so gorgeous. The only thing I don't like is the orange color, so this is gonna be a simple and easy restoration. Tiger oak tends to have somewhat of a busy, swirly pattern, and I believe it was finished with an oil-based polyurethane, and that has caused it to yellow over time. I really just want to change the color and hopefully cause those wood grains to show up a little bit better. It's been overcast all day which means it's not as hot as it's been in the last couple of months so I am going to take advantage of that and see how much I can get done before the rain. As always I get started with cleaning. I'm using some warm water with a little bit of dawn and giving it a quick clean up. I'm using my scraper here just to get an idea of how much is on the surface. I was initially thinking I could sand everything off, but sanding those legs all the way through the finish will take way too long, so I'm going to use a stripper instead. going to be using citrus strip. I have quite a bit of it left from a previous project. This one isn't as toxic as some of the others I've used in the past, but you always want to take every precaution when using chemical strippers. Of course, be in a ventilated area and use a mask. I'm applying a very generous amount of it using a chip brush. This stripper works as fast as 30 minutes and it can be left on for up to 24 hours. It all depends on how much layers of the previous finish there is. After about 20 minutes, I tested a small area and realized it was already coming up. And since I'm working with the weather here, I went ahead and started scraping it off. I'm using some clean strip after wash I had on hand with a small wire brush and an old towel.
Well, there you have it, folks. I managed to get all the legs done and I applied the stripper on the two horizontal surfaces there. I decided to cover it up with some plastic and I'm going to give this about 30 minutes or until this rain stops. It's the next day and it's completely dry. There is some residue left and you can see those little dark swirlies which are prominent with tiger oak. But I do need to do some sanding. I'm going to try to get rid of as much as possible of that dark discoloration you see on the top there. I'm going to start with 80 grit and then move on to 120. It's the next day. I wanted to have it completely dry out overnight. I think it looks great even as it is. This can be complete with just a top coat. That is a look in itself, but I am going for a medium brown tone and a more finished look. The top is quite a bit lighter than the rest, so I'm going to do two coats there. This Lily Moon gel stain has become my go-to for getting the tone that I love. You've seen me use it on several projects before, all of which I have in my home and it holds up really well. Usually I do a mix, but I'm going straight for the jugular here and using Tennessee Whiskey by itself. I'm just spritzing the surface, applying it with a brush and then wiping it back with a shop cloth.
I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy furniture restoration. It turned out exactly as I envisioned it would. It's always nice when a project does. Make sure you are subscribed because this is part of a special makeover project I'm working on and you're going to want to see how this and subsequent smaller projects that I will be sharing over the next couple of weeks come together in that makeover. Don't forget to like this video and let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. Mm -hmm.